Okay, here we have a Superstar 3900 Mark 1. Of course, that's super blurry, but uh, you can see this is the old school version with the um, the two switch band selection. A little better. Okay, so you've got the high and low switch right here for band, and then each of these is actually two bands, so you have to select high or low, and then it's either D, A, E, B, or F, C. So right now we're on A, low band, channel 1, which is 25615. We're going to be using a static 636L noise cancelling non-amplified microphone. This is on the 30 watt scale. Audio. Audio. One, two, three, four. Radio check. Hello. One, two, one, two. Audio. So that's, uh, audio. This radio has likely been, uh, likely been tuned down on the power output, probably to drive an amplifier. Audio. So it's, uh, dead keen a little less than a watt and peaking to just under four watts and that's it band a channel one twenty five six one five that's the am power we'll switch to sideband here that's upper sideband this is into a dummy load Radio check one, two, three. Uh, radio check one, two, three, one, two, three. Radio check one, two, three. Audio, hello, hello. Audio. So, audio. So it's it's a similar swing on sideband, about four watts. And again, that's on the low side. So let's go to the middle of the band, which is, let's see, uh, we'll just go with the CB band, so that's band D, so I'll just switch this to high. It's going to go a lot louder. Well, this radio was purchased off eBay. Um, it is a Malaysia made radio, so it's uh, one of the older ones. I haven't looked inside it yet, but uh, it's, uh, let's see if I can get a shot of the back here. Get you some light. You'll see it does have a plug for PA, I'm sorry, external speaker and a CW key. And it also has a frequency counter plug and then of course your standard range of power plugs so I have ordered a frequency counter to uh, match with this radio but of course the radio beat the frequency counter so we don't have a frequency counter just yet uh, using the diamond uh, TS750 noise cancelling speaker which is a pretty good speaker for CB and uh, amateur use okay so this is the CB band right here band D Um, the radio's knobs feel really, really good. They're nice heavy feel to them, solid feel on the switching here, which is not something you get with the new radios. Um, noise blanker actually does a good job. And the channel 9 switch actually puts you on channel 9. It hasn't been modified for something else. A lot of the times the switch is used to turn something else on, like echo or high low power, something like that. So let's just go through the CB band real quick. Conditions are not very good today. It's 38 lower side band. Mm. 
Not much going on. So this radio does have a fine and coarse clarifier control similar to the other exports, or I guess since most exports are based off of this radio, I should say that similar to itself. Um, of course, clarifier tracks on receive and transmit, and the fine clarifiers receive only. So the center indent is actually over here, not in the center, which I think is kind of interesting. Now, once we get the frequency counter, we'll see if that's actually where the center is, or if that's just some kind of issue with the um, with the radio. Like I said, the van's not very busy today. Usually 26 and 28 are booming in. Even 6 isn't really that busy. So what I'm going to do now is go up to channel 20 and uh, see if the power is any different. Unless, of course, this has been wired for, wired for power. I had it all the way down. We'll, we'll see if that's the uh, that's the case. On we're on AM, so we'll go to 20, 7, 205. Now this radio is an ICOM. Uh, 707. There's no antenna connected to it right now, and it's got the attenuator on, so I'm not worried about overloading the receiver on that. And for FM testing, we're going to use this Pro 96 scanner receiver. Okay, we're on channel 20 on the D-band, which is 27205 on AM mode. Let's look at the meter here. That's, uh, turn the mic in all the way down, audio, oh, yeah. okay. So that dead key is about, uh, about two and a half watts. And the swing, or the peak power, audio, oh, audio. Oh, so it's just above 10 watts, we'll say 10 watts on the uh, average reading. Hello, hello, hello. Hola. 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 Okay. Hello. So that's maybe, maybe 11, 11 and a half watts on the peak. That's in the center of the band. So we'll switch to FM. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to see if this SWR calibration knob is actually set for power. Nope, it's not. It's for SWR calibration. So none of the apps have been messed with, which is kind of cool. All right, we'll switch to FM. Turn this radio off. Turn the scanner on. For FM receive. Okay, and we've got this on FM. 20... Seven two zero five FM. So that's uh, just about two watts, maybe a little bit more on FM. And of course, FM has no swing; it's a full carrier. We'll see how this thing sounds on FM. Hello, one two three four. 
radio check, one, two, three, four, radio check, one, two, three. And this is with the mic gain at uh, 75%, so that's actually a pretty nice sounding FM uh, signal there. Uh, what we're going to do is we'll crank the mic gain back up. Hello, hello, one, two, one, two, radio check. All right, this is with the, uh, with the Aesthetic 636L. Let me try the stock mic real quick. Okay, here's the stock Superstar. It's like your standard stock microphone. Switch back to FM. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three, radio check. Hello, hello. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hello, hello. Radio check. This is FM. This is FM. So not bad sounding on FM with the stock mic either. We'll go to AM. Real quick. Audio, audio, one, two, one, two, radio check. Hello, one, two, three. Okay, obviously the uh, stock mic's a little, a little more muffled sounding on AM. But uh, that's to be expected. A little bit more swing with the uh, 636L. Um, I also ordered a uh, D104 M6B, the handheld version of the D104 amplified mic. Um, hopefully that will arrive today, and we'll see if we can uh, see what the audio sounds like with this thing. But uh, it seems to have plenty of audio to spare, even with the stock mic. Okay, what we're going to do now is try going to the upper band, um, which is band F, and channel 11, which is 27985, and that's as high as you can go without getting into 10 meters, which is not something you want to do. Uh, interestingly enough, this radio does not have a plus 10 kilohertz switch. Um, it's apparently a pretty easy mod to do, so eventually we'll probably convert this switch to a plus 10 KC switch. Alright, we'll continue testing in uh, part 2 of this video.